I've said on this show before that as a man, it's very imperative that you learn to have uh, emotional intelligence. You learn how to get your emotions under control when it comes to dealing with women. But more importantly, when you're dealing with women, you want to make sure that if problems arise, that you're calm, cool, and collected. You're hearing her so she feels understood. You're getting your point across in a way that's not trying to insult her or demean her. And it's very important because men that understand how women function, if once you get to understand how women are and what they like, what they don't like, and how they think about things, then you will have a lot less arguments with women. And it's going to be very, very important because you do not know the, the things that can happen to you intentionally or unintentionally as a result of your decision to try to argue with a woman and then to not give her space and try to get in her good graces at a time when she's feeling turmoil and whatnot, right? And so I, I'm mentioning this now because there was a recent situation that happened. I don't know if you guys have heard about the situation in uh, Baltimore with the bridge that fell, like a boat crashed into uh, one of the pillars of the Francis uh, Scott Key Bridge that was a major bridge in uh, Baltimore, and it just boop, fell into the ocean. It's a very sad situation. And so before I got on the show today, I was actually reading about it because I'm always looking for like updates on it. I have some friends that, that live around there, so I was just kind of curious what's going on. And so I read this whole story on Yahoo, which I have up on the screen here, as you can see. It's talking about uh, the May Day alerts and blah, blah, blah. But there was an interesting part of this article that I thought you guys needed to hear as it pertains to what I just told you about. So amongst all the stuff that happened, this person said, uh, I'll read this part of the article. Uh, it says, as the minutes tick by, a fire department spokesman said responders were dealing with a de developing mass casualty event. Two people were pulled from the water. So, okay, so we heard that part, right? Uh, so this part, Jen Wolf who lives on the south side of the river, was woken on Tuesday morning by her son, Jaden, who had crossed the bridge three times, the last time just three minutes before it collapsed. Why? He, she says, Jaden had expected to spend the night with his girlfriend on the north side of the river, across from the bridge, but traveled back home after the pair had an argument. So he got home, feeling guilty about the incident. He drove back to apologize. So we don't know whether he was at fault, whether she was at fault, or just he was going back to apologize because oftentimes guys will feel like they, they got to apologize because he's the guy and she's crying now. So who knows, right? But anyway, so he, he drove back to apologize, but his girlfriend sent him away. The third time he crossed, he was one of the last people to do so. Quote, he got over the bridge just three minutes before the bridge collapsed. He was actually almost to our house when his girlfriend started texting him to ask if he was okay. He thought she was texting because they were arguing and she said the bridge collapsed. He came into my house frantically panicking and yelling for me, uh, yelling for me and showing me a video. So this guy was three minutes from death simply because he was in an argument with his woman. Now, again, it could be uh, uh, one of those arguments where like he could be at fault or maybe she was in the wrong. They had a disagreement. But the point is because he felt the need to argue with this woman that he's dating. Right. He and then decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go back and apologize. I, you can tell just on this this incident alone that their relationship is in turmoil and in chaos. Right. But this is to the point is that this is I mean, nothing this tragic should be happening as a result of an argument with your woman. But that's the point is that when you argue with women, for one, it shows that you don't really understand how to actually communicate with them. But number two, you do not know what could potentially happen as a result of that. Like the fact that she just felt the need to send him away twice, that's already not good. But had there been no argument, he would have just been in his girlfriend's house. And then lo and behold, he wouldn't have been that like three minutes, like Three minutes out, he was that close. So you have to think about, is it ultimately in your best interest to try to argue your point with a woman? Like, again, there's ways to disagree with a woman 
in a respectful manner. The fact that he get, was either voluntarily driving home or getting sent home means that however they were arguing, it was not in a way that was making her feel, feel, feel heard. And it was not in a way that was going to actually produce a positive outcome or a compromise of some kind. OK, so take this as a lesson. Hopefully this guy will, will learn like, hey, maybe I should learn to like talk to my girlfriend better, or maybe I should get a different girlfriend if she's one that's like toxic and chaotic to where even if he tries to bring something to her attention in a nice way, that she's still trying to like cause fights and arguments. Because some women are about the drama. Some dudes are also about the drama. But the point is that we should not be drama kings and queens. We should be learning how to talk in a respectful way to each other. Because if nothing else, you don't want to be falling off bridges. So I just thought that was interesting that I, I found this story as I was about to come on air. So wanted to point that out to you guys. Definitely make sure that you're learning how to be a better communicator. If you need help with that, you can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and join my Introvert Dating Success Academy, which has a lesson on how to uh, deal with women, how to communicate with them, and when there's disagreements that come up, how to handle them in a way where she feels respected, but you can also feel understood. So hopefully, guys, you got a little bit out of that story. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are 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 high-class man.